Hello everyone, bit of a spare of the moment thing. Uh, I don't normally do tutorials, but I felt I should do one for this because there doesn't seem to be any video documentation on how to get this uh, plugin working. So I've recently been using the Swap Tile plugin for GB Studio. Absolutely amazing tool. I couldn't get my head around how to do tile swapping otherwise, and this has completely saved the day for me. So I'm going to be using this level nine as an example. So just quickly pop that in there and pop it there and just hit play. Right, so the game's up and running. As you can see, we've got this little spinning uh, platform here that's just an indicator to the player that they can push this block over it. Now, normally, before I understood tile swapping, I'd have had to have tried to figure out a bunch of messy stuff to do with uh, an actor with a sprite running on it, and it wouldn't have worked very well at all. But I can now show you that down here is the little animation that goes on loop. Nice and simple. You don't have to have your tile set up like this, this is just how I prefer to do it. It makes it easier for me to see things. So I'm going to completely create this from a fresh start. So if you want an animation to keep running, you're going to need it on an on update somewhere. Uh, I've actually got it on this block because this block never disappears from the scene, meaning it'll always be there, always running its on update. So I will just create a event and then as long as you've installed the tile swapping plugin uh, you'll have this little tiles down here and then you've got uh, swap tiles variable so here you select your map data uh, your background uh, that has all the tiles on so for me it's this one here now an important thing you do need to have that background set up as a level uh, it doesn't have to be connected in any way you don't need to do anything to it it just needs to be in the level data uh, don't ask me why, I don't know, I just know this is required. Also, you may get graphical problems if you don't set it to a logo. So, uh, I'm actually not going to set it to a logo for a second because I want to show you, in case you've had these graphical problems, I'll show you how they tend to show up. So, if we go in here, we've set it to tiles. Now, my game uses 8x8 eight eight tiles, you can use 16x16 16 16 as well. Uh, frames of animation, uh, this runs through five frames down here so we'll just set that to five frames between swaps if any if animating i'm talking gibberish now uh i'll have this set to let's say seven uh number of tiles to be swapped i'm only swapping this one tile so we leave that at one now an important thing to keep in mind it needs to be unique the tile that's already on the map if it isn't it will change all the tiles that look exactly the same so if i was to change this wall tile all of the wall tiles would animate so you need to have something on your original background that makes it unique from any other tile on the map. This can be handy though if you want to change a whole bunch of tiles. It means you only need to program in one of these. So let's see, this is in 14x and 5y. You can tell down in this little area down here when I put my mouse over it. You can see x14, y5. So we will say 14 and 5, which will tell it which tile it wants to look at. And then we need to tell it where the tiles in this thing are in this background that we want to animate. So we want to use uh, these ones here. But first I'm going to show you the error that can pop up. So we're going to use these ones here. So they start at x0, y2. So x stays at 0, y is 2. Now we've told it to use five frames of animation. The way it'll work is it'll start with this one now and it'll do the next four frames so that it's playing all five and then it'll loop back and it'll just keep doing that as long as it's on update. If it's on init or interact, then it'll only play once when you initiate or you interact with something. Uh, so now we will just play this and see how it looks. As you can see, I've ended up with a wonderful white block. It, it works fine, but it looks awful. So, the reason for that, not entirely sure. It'll work on the first row uh, without any problem, because I was banging my head about this for ages. And then I read that you can just change this to logo. And now, if we hit play, there we go. It's running fine. And I really should have removed this dialogue, so I don't have to go through it every time. As you can see, it runs perfectly fine behind my character. It runs nice and smooth. I have a level in a, another game that I'm working on, Bubble Frog, where almost every tile on the scene is being swapped and I've seen no lag 
or anything and that's running on an on update which i know can be quite resource intensive so tile swapping is a really nice way of adding a lot more life to a scene without really heavily impacting your resources so i hope this has been helpful to people if you have any further questions let me know i, I might start doing these about other things but i'll try to actually be prepared beforehand for those uh right so i'm going to wrap it up there i hope this helps